Um, week one went great. Um, I like to wear my guys just the energy that they're coming out with each week. I mean, each day they're doing a good job. Um, teams really coming together well um, out in Woodland Hills. We had a bowling event yesterday. Guys seem really excited. I just like the, the camaraderie that's going on. Um, not too many, in, no new injuries. And uh, I'll open up to y'all. So how'd you do in the bowling event? Technically, I didn't bowl. You know, I got okay. a bum elbow, so okay. I, I stayed away from that. But I was able to make it out to the bro event. Okay. There, uh, what was it, 30 years or 20? 20, 25 years, their 25 year event. So Tracy did a good job with that and Mike and bro and everybody. So I'd like to congratulate them on that. How was Tracy's food at his restaurant? I didn't get to eat because I was <laughs> talking and everything, but it looked okay. good. Okay. From nice what I saw. Nice venue? Yeah, it was a really nice venue. Okay. It was really nice. Okay. At Steak Burgers, it was, mm -hmm. it was pretty good. It looked. The food was, it looked, it looked good. Okay. <laughs> uh, when we spoke to the enemy last week, uh, we asked him about, you know, the number of quarterbacks on the roster, especially the ones who were added that weren't just the ones who were committed, uh, you know, Hasselback and those guys. We went into adding, you know, to Marcus Davis and, and some of those other guys? Just to get some depth, you know. Um, really wanted to get depth and just give everybody an opportunity to, to play. Um, we had, what were we able to add? Four from spring? Yeah, four, think, yeah, yeah. four from spring. So it was just mostly just getting some guys out here, getting some more arms and, you know, uh, just having a really open competition. So that was really How close is Jalen Berger to, uh getting with the team, how, how acclimated is he? I think maybe about a week and a half or, or so. I don't really want to put dates on him because, you know, then he'll start pressing and everything, but he's he's doing a great job and he's, he's strong and I just want to see him just get really back to, to um, like, I don't want to, I don't want him to get in shape with practice. I truly want him to be back when he gets it, you know? Two guys come back from long-term injuries, Gary Smith and Deshaun. Uh, do you expect them to be back at some point this season? Um, that's that's going to be up in the air. You know, uh, Deshaun actually just had the, uh, another surgery to take out some scar tissue, but other than that, he's he's been progressing really well. And the same thing with him. So kind of TBA still. TBA still. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jalen Davies is kind of coming to his own over the last two years. What are your thoughts on him and how he's kind of progressed throughout? Um, he's just doing a good job at corner. You know. Uh, He's trying to lead the, the other young guys in the room. And, you know, when you have veterans, that's what you want. Devin Kirkwood is doing the same thing. So I'm just excited for that room and, and I want to see how, you know, how they progress this whole training camp. One guy on the team who's come in and trying to make a pretty big leap, uh, Luke Sherman, uh, Division Three to the Big Ten is a big leap. What have you thought of him? And uh, have you ever seen anybody make that kind of leap before? Um, I'm pretty sure we've had guys that have been a walk-on and could have started D3 or something like that. So that's not, um, I'm not too surprised, but he's just somebody that's consistent. You know, he's the same guy each day. So that's that's a trait that you want in guys. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do this season. Have you gotten any indication of his uh, abilities? So yeah, far? he goes, he pr practices hard and, you know, it's just, it's just practice. You know, I want to see what happens in the games. But everything that you've seen that he's done in college at the D3 level, he's still capable of doing it. It's easy to root for somebody trying to do that, right? Exactly. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say about the depth and talent of the uh, receiving room? You got uh, veterans like uh, Logan and, and uh, J. Mike. Uh, we also bring in some new guys. And, and Titus is coming back. You know, what can you say about the, the wide receivers? Um, that's probably the deepest room we have. Um, a lot of veterans, a lot of guys that have played, adding Rico, another guy that's played at another school. So that was tough getting Titus back. That's that's good too. So um, we're probably about five, six deep, you know, Quasi and um, Carter Shaw and they're breaking, breaking Pagan, you know, so we have a lot of guys. I'm excited to see. You just want to, I just, and Xavier Staples, I just want to continue to see them just keep progressing and keep learning and, and picking up the whole offense. Is anyone standing out to you so far? Um, I'm gonna just say the whole room, you know. You're gonna have guys getting upset at me if I say that. <laughs> <people. laughs> well, one of the biggest uh, things we'll ask about till opening day is offensive line because you brought in two new guys and Josh Collins playing center. Have you seen some progress there? With no, the, the the progress that they made just from in spring mm -hmm. that was really good, and then for that first week we've done a good job. But I'm really excited about them. Uh, Carlos a smart kid, play center in high school too. I think this is a position that he'll be able to play at the next level also. Um, and then, you know, there's there's 
bringing in Ruben for the left tackle and then the right guard spot is up for grabs. So I just like that guys are competing and they're still friends. You know, it's not it's not turning into dislike. So I'm just we're building a culture here and the guys are taking it and I love it. Uh, Cameron Jones was in here in the spring, but obviously a guy you're familiar with, recruiting him and whatnot. Um, what have you liked from him so far? Just the fact that he's picking up the offense and able to run, you know, and this is this is brand new. It's tough coming to college, and, and then for him, he's picking up a pro style offense coming out of high school. So he's just doing a good job, and it's funny that you guys are able to see that he's making plays, you know, uh, catching passes out of the backfield and running the ball. Um, that room's going to be pretty deep too um, as soon as Berger gets back, so I'm excited for it. Um, I think Jalen Berger, uh, when he was at Michigan State, he had a, a season-ending leg injury. How, I guess, far removed is he from that, and how, I guess, close to 100% is he uh, since then? Um, injuries is not not the issue. It's just more of getting into being out here shape. You know what I mean? Like. He can run, he's conditioning, he's doing a good job, strong, lifting well, but putting the pads on and going at the tempo that we want him to go at, we're just trying to take it day by day. But he's doing a good job. One area that's been kind of hit miss last few years, special teams. Uh, what have you thought of these guys coming in? You got a lot of turnover there. Uh, what have you thought of them? They're all doing a pretty good job. And so I just, we're all about competition. That's gonna bring out the best in everybody. So as long as they're all competing and I keep putting them in um, unique situations throughout practice. I think we'll be able to get the best out of them. So I'm pretty fired up for that. Our specialists, like you said, we have a lot of guys, so I'm fired up to see who's going to be who. You're not able to watch the old practices. Are you still doing those kind of fun competitions during practice, or was that more of a spring thing? That was more of a spring thing. Okay. More of a spring thing. We're just doing more competition with ones on ones. What do you say about Camadrano and uh, uh, Femi uh, as, as far as leadership and yeah, just overall progress because they they have to fill some voids right there? Mm -hmm. Just two guys that have played a lot of football for us. Um, you know, uh, Kane's going to, I mean, Femi's going to have to fill Darius's role. You know, somebody that just got drafted to the NFL. But he played with him last year, so he was able to learn a lot from him. Um, Kane just being in the same role he was in last season. It's a, uh, they got big shoes to fill, but I'm fully capable that these guys can do it. When it comes to you know moving into a new conference, new set of opponents, that sort of thing, do you have to, uh, I guess, speed up the schedule as far as taking some time in the offseason to familiarize yourself with some of these rosters that you guys are going to be facing this year? Um, a little bit, a little bit. It's just it's more familiarizing yourself with the coaches, you know, their schemes and stuff like that. A couple for, first uh, first time DCs and stuff like that. So it's it's more of that. Okay, um, I just wanted to recognize Donnie Edwards. He did, um, I just watched one of this video. Hopefully you guys can post it, post a link on your guys' sites. But Donnie Edwards in the company of Heroes anniversary of D-Day. Just the whole, everything that he does with the military is basically what Bruins are. You know, just giving back. Um, Donnie's always gave back. He's always, he pours into the, the program, talking to players, talking to me. So I just wanted to give him his uh, flowers too. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys.